So for today's lunch video, we've gone back to our favorite bakery, La Pasta Frola, and we've gotten some sandwiches, but these aren't just any kind of sandwiches. These are special. These are sandwiches de miga. And miga is actually a word that we don't really have in the English language. It's used to refer to the white part of the bread, like, you know, sliced bread. The yeah. white part is really soft. Basically, so the non, basically the non-crust area. Yeah, not the crust would be miga. So let's open this up. Sam ran off to the bakery for us and got four different varieties. And there you have it. Ooh la la. These sandwiches are really popular at birthday parties or family gatherings just because they're super easy to pick up at a bakery you don't actually have to make them yourself because you know that would be a little time consuming so just pop into the bakery choose a few different varieties and you're all set you can feed an army so I'm ready to dig into this first one here which one are you trying well I can see some tomato and potentially some deli meat so as you can see it's super thin super light Kind of a fragile sandwich, really, so you want to be careful with it. Mmm. This sauce really nice. It has nice slices of tomato in there. So that makes it really nice and juicy and refreshing. I can also taste butter. They've spread butter on the bread, which is really nice. And that does appear to be turkey. So yeah, nice little sandwich right here. What's turkey in Spanish? Pavo. So first up for me, I'm gonna try one that has tuna and cheese. So let's take a look at that. Look. See if we can peel back the tuna a bit. And then you can mm. see the cheese on the, as, as on the bottom layer. That one looks good. Big bite. Mm. <laughs> That's good. Those are happy noises. Nom, 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 nom. One of my favorite sandwiches is, is a tuna and cheese sandwich so I'm not surprised that I like this and I just find this bread is so light and fluffy you just bite mm -hmm. into it and and so yeah these are these are not heavy sandwiches these feel more like snack sandwiches to me yeah you could have like 20 of them and <laughs> yeah be full. I know so next up I'm trying a healthy one this one is whole grain and if you have a closer look we've got spinach leaves in here and also, ooh, this looks like prosciutto. So, this one's gonna be good. I'm excited. It looks tasty. Uh huh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the whole grain bread, it's a little bit drier than the white bread. So I can tell they've put a little bit more butter in between each of the layers. Nice, nice spread of Ooh, butter yeah, in there. You can see that butter. Yeah. Um, and also I should mention that you can also get these sandwiches toasted, especially the, the ham and cheese ones on white bread. You'll find that at any cafe. Like you can get that for breakfast, for your afternoon tea. You can just ask for a tostado de jamón y queso. And that'll be a sandwich like this, but toasted. So yeah. And last but not least. So I'm trying basically the classic cheese and tomato, but mm -hmm. this time it is on the whole grain, kind of like the one that you tried. Mm. And this is my first time to try the whole grain, so. Yeah, you're right. It is the bread is a little bit drier mm -hmm. than the white, but like as you said with your previous sandwich, they've compensated by adding a little bit more butter. Yeah, and then the tomato also makes it juicier too. So yeah, this is this is one of my favorite ones here. So that was a nice little snack. You want to tell us the price for that? Yes, that definitely wasn't enough for a meal, but as a snack, it was great. It came to 93 pesos, which is six US dollars. And yeah, it was it was a snack where I think we're mm -hmm. still a little hungry. We're still hungry, so I think we're gonna head out for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so bye! Off to the bodegon, we go.